Rich Side K9, House Pets to Working Dogs, Obedience to Protection, having a good morning. Nothing makes me happier and nothing makes most dog men happier that operate a dog business and drive a van daily than taking some time and cleaning out their van. And my God, I just cleaned out this van. All right, all seriousness, guys. It's an awesome thing to have a dog transport van, man. It, it, it's a truly an awesome thing once you get there when you can supply yourself with one. And it is a necessity when you run a lot of dogs. But they get dirty real quick. This morning, took everything out, cleaned it, power washed it, put everything back in. And it's so pretty, so I wanted to share it. So where we have this set up, guys, on the bottom, two large rough tough, two intermediate rough tough, four XL rough tough. And the way I have my personal van set up, on the ceiling, we have the LED lights. Those actually come from Mopar. I insulated this whole thing myself. It's kind of ghetto, but it works. I keep one strap up top, and I keep two fans here. So the way these fans work is, and you guys can feel free to call me an idiot or share my ideas here. I've done as much as I can to learn. I just drop them like that off the strap. They sit right in the middle like this. This fan right here points straight down. This fan points straight back. And that way, when the AC is blowing, these two fans are grabbing that AC and pushing the air throughout the van. That one pushes the air down, this one pushes the air back, and then the natural AC that the vehicle provides. Combination of those two fans plus the van's AC, it can keep this thing very, very cool. And this is how it looks from the front and back. So again, these two vans sit right there. I can't see behind me anyway, so they don't block anything. Those two extended batteries will last about 12 hours a piece. I got four of them, I can run 24 hours, fans going whether the vehicle's on or not. Really good thing to have. These two things on top of the rough tufts are water containers with storage. Each one holds nine gallons a piece. You just pop it like that, water comes out. Luckily I got a waterproof floor, don't worry about it. Um, up top here we have storage. I keep a couple long lines, toys over here, a um, couple muzzles, a little cookie if I'm hungry, a couple Kong, stuff like that. What I also love about the ProMaster guys is the storage. So the ProMaster comes fact with a ton of storage. Top part up there, you'll see I have one, two, three. I actually have four. You can't see them, sun visors. When I stop, sun visors go in every single window. Um, you also have storage up here. I keep some contract stuff, some Tylenol, um, whatever I need. Wallet, some sunglasses, but it's a really cool place uh, with the built-in storage. Even clean the top. Oh, look at that rich side hat. Boom. Get you about 50 of them. You can buy them off the uh, Facebook store. I even clean up the dashboard today, man. Look how clean that is. She looks new. She ain't new, but she looks it. In the back of the van, again, we have the four XL rough tufts. My left side, I have two different bite suits. I have a real thick bite suit, kind of piece of shit. And then I have my uh, Roka Sport to the left. And then over there, I actually have an extra, I actually have three. So over there, I have a Demon A. So I've got a real thick piece of shit one, a Roka and a Demon A. I rock it all, whatever works. I have these kennels strapped down with tension straps. You can see them right there. They won't go anywhere. But then as an absolute safety, I had this tension bar in the front of the kennels, so we have two different mechanisms to keep the kennels, you know, I could flip this van, these ain't going nowhere. Up top, I have another tension bar, but the actual point to that is to keep stuff from sliding around. So I have my reclining chair that sits right here. This chair can be a bed or a chair, it's basically like a foldable cot, it's, it's an ingenious idea. I keep a place pad up there for training. Over the side here, I have my little rope strap, simple strap with a ton of leashes, collars, vests, all kinds of extra stuff. I don't really know all the stuff I have over here. Um, again, extra suit on the bottom, and then in the back here, don't make you dizzy, I have a ton of wedges, um, pillows, sleeves, stuff like that. Always, always, always plan for emergencies. That bag right there is a bunch of roadside assistance stuff that I may need on a breakdown, jumper cables, flares, stuff like that. And this is the back of the van, guys. So again, this van has window tent, but I put sun shades on a magnet and all the windows in the back to just keep the sun off the back of the vehicle. When I open the back door, it's very easy for me to get to the little working stuff I need here. So over here, I have a bunch of little pillows, half sleeves, full sleeves, wedges, cone, in case I need to throw cones out if something happens. I have a couple poles right here, just little uh, you know, distraction stuff I can use for the dogs, um, flirt poles, spring poles, stuff like that. Over here on this side, uh, I have some shaker cans. These are for quick access. If I need to grab them, you know, my little distractor cans. Right here, courtesy of uh, Kelly Spies, I have three chatter sticks. You guys don't know, Kelly Spies makes some badass chatter sticks, so hit him up. But this is the rear access of the van. So, you know, I, I keep things there that I can pop the back and get to quickly that I know won't fall out to the front. And as always, one of the things I love about my van, always has a hitch on it. Real good to help protect the van. And I actually tow... Uh, I have a couple different trailers, but with this van, I'll often take that aluminum trailer you see right there, 
and this van will pull it all day long. This van can tow 60 or 5,600 pounds, I believe. And um, you plug in a trailer, man, it, 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 because of the weight of the van and how big they are, they actually pull very, very smooth. So pretty nice to have. As always, if you get a van, make sure you get a backup camera, backup alarms. It'll, it'll save you in a heartbeat. One of the other things that I love about my Pro Master is I have dual slides. So this slide here closes up. It's got the full window kit on it. Uh, which is nice as far as visibility and stuff goes. And then if I truly need to, and, and it has been very useful multiple times, I have a reverse slide. So especially on days you want to open the van up um, to clean it, to ventilate it, to do all that, I have a driver's side and a passenger side slide. If you can swing it, it obviously costs more money, but if you can do it, it's one of those things that once you have it, you'll, you'll never want a van again without uh, reverse slides. Now, obviously this side here, you know, it's not real useful to me now, but again, two straps, all that stuff comes out and that way I can have a complete pass through. And last thing for those that want to know, I know I've went over this before, but if you keep those four XL crates and everything like you see it right there, take out these four kennels. This open space on the floor will hold a queen size air mattress with room to spare. Okay. So you can literally go on a road trip, to a uh, whatever, conference, seminar, whatever. You're riding up front, you can take four dogs with you and have enough gear and space to still put a queen size air mattress right there and sleep in your van. And uh, you know, it's not always ideal. I've slept in this van countless times, but uh, when you have the fans going, I have a little Wi-Fi speaker at nighttime so I can play a little music, keep the fan, get the van off, save the fuel, and um, it's not bad. That's it, Rich Side K9. Um, check out our other, other locations, other trainers. They almost all have transport vans. They all set them up completely different. So Courtney down in Orlando has his setup pretty similar to mine. He's on a transit platform. We have Christina and Will, both of which have ProMaster platforms. They have the larger vans, and their van is set up completely different. With theirs, basically it's all the kennels on the back wall and then kind of a hallway going down there, which, which works out pretty well. But that's it, Ridgeside K9. If you have any questions about the vans, I don't know everything, but I know I've had this thing set up a million different ways, and uh, this is the way that's working for us pretty good right now. Hopefully you learned something. If not, sorry about that. If we can help you, let us know. House Pets to Working Dogs.